Hey there, Professor Snart, just checking in. So we are looking at Unit 11 in our course, getting right down to the end. But you'll notice that Unit 11, Unit 11 is divided into two separate um, pieces. And I could have made them two separate units, but I'm hoping that you see the, how they're obviously connected here. Um, the bigger thing is obviously that there's two different due dates to look at. So just in my due dates list here, we have uh, Unit 11, or the first part of it, which is the peer editing and response for the most part is due April 19th, which is coming up this Thursday. And then the second due date is not till the next Thursday, April 26th, um, when you're submitting your final paper. So we really are into the um, unit where you're submitting your final paper, but that's not the first due date we cross, that's the second. The first is um, more focused on uh, getting some feedback from your peers based on wherever you're at with your essay. And so again, obviously that feeds into the final kinds of revisions you're doing for your, your final essay. Um, but clearly we need to have that finished in enough time for people to get um, response back and make sense of it and incorporate changes or make changes where they, they uh, figure out that they want to do so. so it's really all one piece of work that we're doing, but we do need to um, create a couple of different deadlines to make sure we get everything covered. So getting into Unit 11 here, you are posting about your sources. Again, this is just a good way of checking to make sure that you understand the difference between primary and secondary. You have the correct kind of sources and number and all of that kind of stuff. I've reposted both the primary and secondary source requirements, so you can check that again. Um, I'm saying here for the millionth time probably that especially with the final paper, serious errors with sources like you don't know the difference between primary or secondary. You don't have an appropriate uh, uh, number of secondary sources. They're not proper database or print sources, all of that kind of stuff. That is going to have a major effect on your grade. In fact, if that's gone wrong, there's probably that and other things that are going to go wrong too, um, and it's unlikely to receive a passing grade at that point. And again, it's not complicated. I've reposted the things here. You're posting to the discussion board, the requirements. Um, you can always check with me if you're just not sure. Um, if you want to make sure, you know, send me an email about what sources you're using, what secondary sources you've got, are these okay, um, and all that kind of stuff. So again, even if you're really pretty sure you've got it right, it can often be useful to, you know, be in touch with me and just get that feedback that, yes, this is going to work. And so you proceed with confidence, knowing that it's right, not having in the back of your mind, well, you know, I think I've done it right, but I guess we'll see. So the rest of Unit 11, then, is um, peer editing. There's groups here you'll find yourself in. A peer editing checklist you can use focused on things that we've talked about, you know, from the start. Clear thesis, clear topics. Is there a direct quotation used in the in the um, paragraphs? Avoiding that I voice or the conversational voice, just um, stuff like that. So a good reminder, and of course something that you'll use to evaluate your peers' essays, but useful for you as well. You know, could you do the checklist for your own essay, and does it come out as positive? A couple of reminders about um, essay problems to look for that are sort of ones that I run into a lot. So just good reminders. And then a peer review discussion board. Go in there, post your essay, and really, ideally, everyone has posted and then gotten feedback by this first due date. But realistically, what generally happens is that people post their essay by the due date, and then that gives people maybe a day or two to read and respond, especially for those who are coming in like, you know, the evening of the due date. You don't want to be sitting there trying to do the review and response. Um, at the last minute, 11 o'clock at night or whatever. So as long as you've got your essay posted on time, that's what matters. And then, of course, go back in, make sure you give feedback, but also get the feedback. And um, this is a really important part here. If someone draws something to your attention that is maybe not correct, or are these the right kinds of sources? Are we allowed to do this type of paper? And all of a sudden you're not sure, that's the perfect time to be in touch with me to find out, is was your peer editor onto something? Do you really need to make some fundamental changes? Or did they maybe misunderstand? Or um, are you on the right path kind of a thing? So again, double check with me. Um, 
based on that peer feedback that you're getting. There's a short discussion board then having you reflect on your writing process to this point and then you'll notice that the unit kind of splits here and we move on to unit two or the sorry due date number two for unit 11 which goes into not this coming Thursday but the next Thursday the 26th and that's when you're submitting your final paper. Um, so I'll talk more about that as we get to it. But we're really focused more on getting the peer review submitted um, by this Thursday and then having people get feedback in a timely manner so that they can incorporate that or respond to it or deal with it before obviously having to submit that final paper. Again, the sources is a good check here to make sure that you are on the right track as, as far as that goes, the My Sources Discussion Board. Um, and the peer feedback can be really useful. Even if you have um, very little of the feedback as kind of overall or global things, even if people are just finding a couple of typos or little little sorts of mistakes like that, it's still beneficial to get that kind of feedback. But again, if you're unsure about feedback, by all means, be in touch with me. Okay, so that's kind of our mantra as we finish up the course here, getting into the last few units and weeks, is um, any questions that you've got, by all means, be in touch with me um, early and often, right? You Better to be 100% sure and having checked with me rather than just sort of wing it and hope for the best. So um, be in touch, and I will um, check in once again after we pass this first Thursday due date to talk a little bit more about uh, making sure that final essay is in its correct format before we get to the, uh, really to the, towards the end of our course. All right, take care.